Building a complex human organ in the lab has long been a dream of science fiction. Now it's becoming reality. At this London lab, a team of 30 scientists is in the process of manufacturing all manner of human body parts. The shortage of organ and number of organ cannot be transplanted from donor. So that's what we aim to make organ for a patient. The organs are partly made from biocomposite materials and partly from a patient's own cells. The aim is to prevent the patient's body from rejecting the organ. People have been having tooth implants you know, for centuries, maybe now decades. You know. So human organs, same thing. You know. So we could, and until now, been difficult because they haven't the right material, the right skill. And now we have the right material skill to make the organ. To produce this human ear, scientists first create a 3D image. Then they make a mold of the ear. The hard part is finding a material that can act as the supporting scaffold or skeleton of the organ. To get there, Dr. Sefalian sought inspiration from nature. His lab-made ears are made from special material that's closely modeled on the topography of a butterfly's wing. Like a wing, the lab material is strong yet flexible. It is antibacterial and its pores are small enough to hold human cells. It got millions of little holes, like a honeycomb in a structure, and the stem cells go to grow inside them. Stem cells taken from the patient are then poured into the mold. By adding chemicals, the stem cells are converted into the cartilage of the human ear. With the help of a steady supply of nutrients and oxygen, the ear is grown over several days. When we make ear or nose or any other organ, facial organ, we have to put it on their skin somewhere, to a skin to cover it up, then we put it at the place it's supposed to be. When it's ready, surgeons will attach the lab-made ear to the patient. The first ever ear transplant could be done in three years' time. The London researchers are not the only ones operating in this potentially lucrative field. A team in Spain is trying to build a human heart. And there are scientists in the US who are also working on making bones, livers, and kidneys. Dr. Sefalian's biggest breakthrough to date came in 2010 when he manufactured a windpipe for a patient. The procedure saved the man's life and garnered headlines around the world. While Dr. Sefalian's current projects involve ears and noses, his ambitions are greater than that. Our expertise is actually to make cardiovascular organ. One day is a lot of unmet clinical need. That means there's a the, the, the material in the market, you know, go to cardiovascular, a lot of them got problem, you know. So, and the cardiovascular in terms of financial is a big market. So we were trying to make cardiovascular devices. So one of the things we make artery, you know. So we make artery, which is for coronary artery. Currently, if patient have a, doesn't have a suitable autologous, their own artery, then there's no alternative, you know, for the, put that, there's no alternative. So this is first coronary arteries made to go to clinical trial. And so we're going, hopefully we're going to clinical trial this year. For the Wall Street Journal, this is Gautam Naik in London.